So the iPhone 6S was my first ever iPhone. My second ever phone, but my first ever iPhone. I specifically remember the exact day that I got it, March 22nd, 2016. And at the time I was coming from the, only the real tech heads would know this one, the HTC One M7 that I'd had for way too long. And finally it was time to upgrade. And the 6S was the newest of the newest iPhone. So I knew it was definitely the one. And I wanted an iPhone too. I remember just being in awe of the entire experience of an iPhone. It was so simple yet so premium. I used it for about two years I think and in that time I absolutely loved the 3D touch feature which is sadly no longer a thing. Also I really enjoyed the specific uh, 3D touch iPhone 6s wallpapers and that little force touch on the edge of the display for the app switcher that was a nice touch as well. I love the touch ID home button just because it was a pretty new thing for iPhones at the time and also because it just looks super cool on the space gray model. The camera was also top of the line. Camera technology in phones wasn't as big as a deal as it is today so I never quite cared enough about the photo quality but it did a great job for the time and now the iphone 6s in late 2023 there is absolutely no reason to get it i think ios updates stopped at ios 15 i believe the screen quality almost hurts your eyes if you're a real tech enthusiast like me it does still work pretty solidly though i believe this was one of the best selling iphones if not the best selling iphone ever but now it's has to be officially retired then came the iPhone XS. This was the first iPhone that I was eager to get. Why? Well, a very simple reason. It was something about this almondy gold color that I just knew that I had to get one. I'm telling you, when you had this back in 2018, 2019, the flex that was this gold color. I mean, you were feeling good about yourself if you had this phone in this color. If you had this phone regardless but other than that this was my first time ever having a oled display in a phone i can vividly remember a moment where i zoomed in on a photo and the amount of clarity detail sharpness and vibrance from the screen completely uh, blew my mind and i'd say ever since then i cannot even fathom having a phone without a oled display or something better compared to an lcd it's really night and day. Another standout thing were the photos, specifically the photos in soft light such as the sunrise or sunset. Those shots I noticed for the first time just how nice sunsets looked on the iPhone. Apple you could tell started to step up their computational photography software quite a bit here and it showed in the great looking photos. And now the iPhone XS is still holding its own. Again probably no good reason to go out and get one but it's nice to see that it's still getting software updates and it still performs decently well. And in 2021, the iPhone 13 mini. This was a phase that I was going through with technology where I just wanted to be super minimal with everything, the minimalistic approach. So I thought it'd be a great idea to go and get a phone that is very small, not the highest end, and a phone where it seemed like it was meant for minimalists. So I got the 13 mini. At first, I loved the small form factor of it. I liked that it wasn't too heavy and that it wasn't like a brick in my pocket. I love the fact that it had an OLED display. Battery life was obviously not the best, but I knew this going in, so that wasn't generally an issue. But then I realized I am quite the power user, and the smaller screen size, I started to regret more and more as time went on. But still, I enjoyed my time with the 13 mini. It was not for me, but I can see for people who actually don't use their phones much, actually minimalists in life, um, how it could be beneficial for them. And currently, the iPhone 14 Pro. So it was that very reason. I couldn't handle the smaller screen of the 13 mini and I just needed more power and more ability uh, in my phone outright. So the 14 Pro it was. It was actually not the easiest task to get this phone and this was that phone. So much ability and capability, uh, so many things that you could do with it and not have to worry about limitations. I've made countless videos on the 14 Pro just praising it but still the basics. A great battery life, an amazing display with ProMotion the new dynamic island, a killer camera setup, especially now with the iOS 17 improvements. And I can go on and on. I like this phone so much that I didn't even want to upgrade to the 15 Pro. Like I said before, if you can find a good 14 Pro, a good deal on it, it's not a bad idea to get one. 